Welcome to a new video in my home automation series and it's been about six months uh, exactly it was March 14th when I made a video on some of the new changes or new features that are available in the NS Panel Pro with new firmware updates and since then quite a few firmware updates have been released so uh, that video was on version 3.0 so obviously that was a big change this uh, we are at version 3.6 if I believe correctly and there has been some improvement um, it's not a major uh, release change so most of the things are um, you know UI usability and look and feel changes but uh, there are quite a few that we can look at and now since I have two NS Panel Pros we can look at in both of them in different uh, formats so I mean it's going to be mostly you know UI how the UI changed how you can customize the screen and also how um, uh, the support for newer devices came around so obviously since the last uh, half a year we have seen a new you know water valves a water leakage sensor the thermostatic valve was around the same time as well and the support uh, sometimes lags a little bit with some of these devices so the, the, uh, so those are definitely on um, I think we are pretty much up to date with the languages now I haven't seen too many language updates but as I said there is going to be a few small changes here and there so I think let's tackle the this uh, UI change uh, which I want to talk about so first of all what you can see here and it's going to be a little bit awkward because the camera is in the way so I can't really see what I'm doing well I can see it on the screen but that's it so the the probably the most relevant change is how this UI uh, I mean the look and feel has changed so this is my device screen and um, I think this screen became a little bit more you know refined a little bit more um, you know modern and simplistic so the the fonts are a little bit thinner which is I mean I quite like the look and feel again if you have some you know eyesight problems these fonts might be a little bit too small to read and also some of the icons have changed um, uh, and of course we have you know newer icons for some of the present sensors and motion sensors and and whatnot so that has definitely created some you know difference in these uh, but uh, the overall functionality hasn't really changed so if I pick anything then you know I get the usual detail screen and that's the same as before okay I think the biggest change is on the main on the home screen and even in the previous videos I said that how you can select uh, you know different layouts for the different screens and when I reviewed this bigger and well not bigger but the Portree NS Panel Pro I said that some of these screen variants are not really designed for this vertical layout unfortunately that's still true but what has changed is how you can you know customize these buttons and what you can put on them so what you can see here on these uh, the NS panel, the, tall, uh, the vertical NS panel pro. Now, this layout is more like a standard layout. So, we have voice, call, alarm, and while well, I have configured one of the cameras, but uh, and the rest of the screen is for you know, better uh, the background screen and uh, and the time. But here on this one, I've changed the layout completely. So, I now have just one tile up here on the top right to uh, for the weather. I'm not even showing the um, the time and then all the other ties are for some other things and we had this functionality before and you could configure like you know a device for these uh, or yeah that's the zigbee micro i can switch it on and off and uh, but then we have a lot more options so here you can see that i can basically create shortcuts to either to the thermostat screen or um, or to the energy screen so that's not really you know anything new it just really just makes it quick to uh, skip to one screen i mean you can configure like nowadays so many different screens with you know different screens for um you know thermostats the scenes the devices that you might just have too much scrolling left and right so you can sort of create shortcuts here and um, maybe i could have wished that some of these also show some information so maybe the energy could show the energy for today but i guess it's not really straightforward in some cases because if you only have one energy screen then it makes sense but if you have multiple energy devices then you know which one do you show so 
and the same for the thermostat. So it could show the, uh, the current room temp or the room temperature. But again, if you have configured multiple thermostats, then which one is going to show? So I'm kind of okay with the idea. Again, I just wish that some of these would, you know, do a little bit more, just uh, be a static tile. And pretty much the same applies to, for example, this one, the timer. So all it does, it goes into your settings. So you can set up a timer, which is, again, it's a nice thing. If you have this desk mounted, just like me, then you can use it as a quick timer and you don't have to swipe down and go into the settings to get into the timer, which, you know, takes a couple of... Uh, so you know gestures but here you can just go in immediately and it's pretty much the same with the alarm so here i can click an alarm and it takes me directly into the alarm screen so again a great shortcut but nothing else i mean again for example here it would make sense that it shows the next alarm so even if i turn this one on 10 15 is already passed but anyway so this tile doesn't change it's not a dynamic tile um yeah i mean that's it. And other than that, you know, uh, I can trigger alarm, uh, sorry, um, manual scenes as well. And, uh, and of course I can do devices, but I was able to do devices even previously. So let me show you how this looks like in the app. So let me just uh, find my other NS panel pro. And if you go into themes, this is where you can see all these details. So you could see, uh, you can switch between any of these views, just like before. And then if you go to edit, and then you have another edit button here. So this shows a preview, but you have another edit button here. And you can see how I can, um, you know, com well, I can configure this one because that's a fixed weather icon. But for example, I can, instead of this PW Elite, I can select from all these devices. So obviously the support of these devices are growing. So I think there are just a few, for example, Zigbee, Zigbridge U is not supported, but that's just the Zigbridge. There's nothing to show there. And I think there is probably one or two more devices that it says AI, the iHost is not supported, but again, the iHost doesn't really do anything. So you won't put it onto your main screen. Same for the NS Panel Pro. You know, that's just a display device. You don't want to control that. But other than that, as you can see, pretty much all the other devices that where it makes sense to have it on the main screen in order to control it is available here. And of course, just like before, you know, these buttons, at least they show a status. So you can see that they are on or off. Uh, but, you know, for some of the others that I mentioned, it is, uh, it doesn't really change when um, it doesn't really show any more information behind it. And you can always also pick manual scenes. Again, that's same as before. But now we have uh, um, also these, I forgot what this uh, button SPL means, but here you can, uh, oh, these are the uh, screens. So the, this is how you can create shortcuts to different uh, screens. So I have the thermostat up here and the power management. So you have, you, uh, you have I have the thermostat screen. I can also create a, you know, a quick link to device consumption, that's the other one, or pages or any of the screens in between. So again, if you want, there is something that you always use, you want to have a quick shortcut, then you can do that. And then under more, there are a few other options as well. So you can have the weather widget, which is the top one here, or you can have the weather and the time, which is here. And, uh, and the timer, oops, and the timer, which I have here. And of course you have voice call, the smart security, which I removed because I'm not using that anymore. Well, I'm not really using smart security, so I don't need that button. And that was probably my first thing that I noted about the first uh, NS Panel Pro video when it came out, when the three buttons were fixed and you could not configure that. And I said, smart security is a, you know, it's a nice feature, but I'm not really sure that anybody's going to use that. So it's just taking up space for functioning that you are not going to use, but now we can remove it. And yeah, you can do web pages, reminders, you can link to any camera and alarm. Uh, so I have one more, which is the reminders, uh, which I haven't, oops, confirm here and save. So that's the one that I haven't used. So at least the, uh, uh, the reminder has a, um, uh, like a live tile because it actually shows the reminder. So that's a nice thing. So if you go to your reminders, I said, don't forget to water the plants. And now it's there. And I can, yeah, 
I can you know change that and then one of the new functions here is that I can change the font size as well so if you have a longer reminder then maybe you can oops set the font size to small and then save and then update only uh, and then go out and I think at some point it will update and then use a smaller font <clears throat> So that's how the screen customization looks like and what are the different features that you can access. But as I said, it's mainly, you know, usability features and ease of use and to be able to configure it to the specific functions that you use the most. And the rest of the things that I wanted to highlight are going to be fairly minor ones, but let's just go through them. So first of all, in the, you know, when you create alarms um, like, you know, these alarms here, then now you can you know specify your custom ringtone so if i go into any of the if i go into the settings there is a new option here which says uh, ringtone and you can upload a ringtone as you can see it has to be in mp3 flac or og or wav format and it, there is some size restriction but then you can you know customize your ringtone when you are creating alarms yeah it's a um, you know simple feature but especially if you want to have something subtle maybe you have this in your bedroom you're using it for alarm clock then i guess it's better to pick something which is not the standard uh, uh, you know ringtone so the next one is also going to be in the settings if i scroll further down we have the security mode uh, and also the security log and everything let's just get this back online but now we also have a security code so you can specify a four digit security code that you can assign to the either to the disarm and or the reset um, modes and then the ns panel pro is going to ask you uh, to type in a security code before you can disarm the security functionality so that's again a basic feature but it's uh, nice to have especially again if you are using this functionality the next change is related to thermostat. So there are some small changes here as well. Again, mainly just to add some extra functionality. And the new functionality is within the settings. So three dots and you have this option here. So selected device state. Um, so when your thermostat is disabled, you can select whether your device, which let's say controls your furnace or controls the space heater, should that be off or should that be just kept in the state that it was last time so if your room was heating then it just um, you know stays on heating even if the uh, like the heating would be uh, kept active even if you disable your thermostat mm, I'm not really sure I, I would say that if I disable the thermostat I probably want uh, to you know turn the device off because that means that I either not using the thermostat or I don't need control but probably that means that you don't need heating as well I mean otherwise if you do it on if, if you leave it on keep then if your heating was on it would just keep on going I'm not sure so you know think about this and then set it according to your preference next set of improvements are related to new device control and as I said new devices has come out since the version 3.0 so there is the water sensor the water leakage sensor the water valve there are more supports for metal devices and also now if you want to you know monitor power consumption up until now you can you you could use the POW2 or the original POW or the POW Elite but now you can use the POW CT as well which I have also reviewed probably about six months ago and finally there are a few small changes around the calling functionality so I'm going to initiate a voice call to the vertical NS panel pro from here so it's going to take some time until it connects and if I pick this up so obviously it starts the feedback but now you have a mute button here so you can mute uh, your NS panel side and of course I can mute the same in the app as well but then the other feature you have is you can minimize oops you have this icon here you can minimize the call so you can ha still have the call on and uh, go back to your main screen so and then you can of, of course swipe left or right and let's say you can operate the thermostats and um, let's say any of your devices whilst you are still in a call and when you want to finish the call you can just click on this button and then you can hang up from here i think that's a nice feature and probably 
you know, when you are talking to someone, you also want to make some quick changes to your smart home system. But uh, this way you can do that. You don't have to leave the call or you don't have to take out your phone in order to do that. So these are most of the changes in the last few releases of the NS Panel Pro firmware. As I said, these are not major firmware revisions, so the, uh, the changes are comparatively smaller. And I might have also missed a few couple of things. I mean, I was just uh, going through the change log and I wanted to just highlight the most notable changes. But that will be all for today. If you are interested in any of these devices, I'm going to leave affiliated links in the video description. But that will be all for today. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you next video.